So welcome back to another 10 minutes of Blender modeling challenge. If you haven't checked out my channel before, I've got a few videos this year where I do speed modeling. So I give myself 10 minutes to try to make an object or a scene. Previously, I've done a Star Destroyer. I've also done a Titanic and a spaceship. And this time around, I'm gonna do a diorama. If you don't know what a diorama is, that's okay. I didn't even know it myself. It was my good friend, Jim, that suggested that I make one. So here it is. I'm gonna make a little uh, 10 by 10 meter slice of reality well it's not going to look like reality at all it's going to look uh, just like a low poly object again as usual i'm going to try to put a car in there a little road segment maybe a wall some trees and a speed camera and uh, I don't think I'll be able to finish this one on time, but I'll give it a good effort anyway. I should also say that I've had a few comments on my previous videos, a lot of them encouraging. So thanks everyone for giving me the thumbs up. I'm really happy to make these videos and I'm glad that it could uh, help you. And uh, I've had a few comments. So the first one being that the topology that I create is horrible. And that's a very, 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 very good point. You don't really want to have anything else than quads in a mesh, really. You don't want end guns anyway, any uh, faces that have more than four vertices. And I create these all over the place. When I create big surfaces and I extrude and slice and dice it, uh, the, the topology is not that good. So if you don't plan to rig or animate or armature uh, or like whatever bend the mesh, then it's not too much of a problem. You can get away with it, but you will get some artifacts if you start bending these uh, objects. Uh, you'll have some faces doing some funky stuff. So if you can try to make quads, but again, if you wanna just have some simple cars or whatever, this will do in a low poly game and especially in game jams, I do like this all the time. Don't worry too much about it, but just keep in mind that the topology could be greatly improved. God, that's a long way to say that the topology sucks. Someone uh, named Professor X re recommended a site called, uh, I have to look what it's called now, it's uh, Lospec, I think, L-O-S-P-E-C. Com. And it's a site where uh, people upload some palettes and you can download them as uh, these simple uh, textures as well, which is just basically a bunch of pixels. And that's normally how I create my textures as well. I prefer the, to keep them uh, quadratic, uh, square, <laughs> better word. So these are just like a long strip of pixels. And if you import them into a game engine, they should really be better off doing uh, like a, a to the power of two texture, like two by two or four by four. <laughs> I'm gonna get a palette this time from this site. So it's basically just a selection of pixels. I'm gonna import that into Blender and I'm gonna use that for my texturing. One more thing as well. I should also say that I don't come into these challenges totally out of the blue. But usually before I do it, I do check out, for example, when I did Titanic, I did check out pictures of Titanic to memorize it a little bit. And I just did a few quick runs in, uh, in Blender as well, just to see if uh, what sort of proportions I should do. I really wanna be uh, truthful with that one. But when I do start, I don't look at any references as, as I go. Uh, it's what I, whatever I've remembered. <laughs> Set the timer here. Let's make a diorama. All right, finally, we go. Ready, steady, go. And it's counting down. Download image. PNG, S no, not copy, save it, yes. Don't need that anymore. And let's rotate it right so we get it vertical. Go to the shading tab and bring it in. And here's our palette, it'll be the base color. And let's edit in the UV, scale zero here. And let's flip this to texture and we want shadows and cavity and both to get some prettiness while we model. Let's resize this, and here we go. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by deleting these things, and then I'm gonna start by creating the car. Shift D and Control R to split, to delete this one. You know the drill. Add the modifier, mirror modifier with clipping. Uh, let's see, side view, Shift space G to move it up. Here we go, uh, scale Y2, scale Y2, no, nope. yeah, scale, what am I doing? Scale Y2, scale Y2, that was a waste of time. Let's bring this one down a bit. Control R for some loop cuts here to make the car. It's gonna be a cartoon style car again, I guess. Like this, let's bring this top up and we can also bring it uh, let's say K, let's do a split here. The knife tool and let's bring the roof in a bit. Like this A, uh, let's make it this color. 
What color car should we make? Let's make it this color. And so we've brought that one in a bit. Uh, let's make some windows. I for inset, B to get this little trick here. So we don't have to worry about that seam. I, and then let's do another little cut in the center here. Bring it back. Let's make some windows here. I twice to get them individual. Here we go. Okay, that will do. And let's make the windows blue. Ah. Here. Okay, and then some wheels. Shift, uh, so I've, yeah, two and a half minutes I've used. Shift space, cylinder, let's make it low poly, eight segments. Like the low poly style, A scale zero. Let's bring it to something black. Clipping off, rotate, control key to snap them, scale them down, scale X. Uh, clipping back on, we can put, scale them up again. Let's move everything down like this. Rotate the wheel a bit, scale it down again. Okay. This is one not so nice looking car, but it's okay. Okay, let's make a wheel out of this. I inset, E to extrude and make this one gray. And the wheel is done. Shift space, cursor to select the shift A. Let's make a cube here. Scale zero, we're gonna make some white headlights clipping off again. Scale them down, scale X, scale them down. Okay, and let's make some bumpers. Shift D, clipping we want back on. Let's make the number plate first, scale Z. Okay, let's make bumpers, shift D again, scale X. These can be great. How am I doing? Oh, four minutes gone, shift D. L, let's make another wheel. Okay. And some tail lights, and then I'm gonna have to call this done, I think. Red, and we need a number plate in the back as well. Shift D. Okay, and let's actually just do a little check here as well with these windows. Uh, e to extrude, best to scale them down just to get a little bit of shade there as well. Okay, and a door handle. Ooh, five minutes nearly gone. Scale Z. Okay. Okay, so the car is done. Let's call this one car. And let's unhide this one now. We're going to do the little diorama thing. Scale Shift Z. Ten to make it bigger. Let's make it green like the grass. Control R. Two. Okay, scale X a little bit. And let's extrude this up. E to extrude it up. Let's make this. Actually, we'll make a little sidewalk here. I don't know why there's a sidewalk out here. But let's make it. Control plus. this grab gray road control R let's make a little uh, actually let's make some terrain here so subdivide maybe that many times yeah control T to make them triangle select a few of these and then uh, I'll raise it up with uh, Proportional editing here. G, Z, scale it up a bit. Maybe like this. Okay. And let's make a tree here. Pine tree. They're quick to make. So cone, shift S, cursor selected, shift A, cone. We only want eight segments here as well. Okay, four minutes to go. Let's offer it proportional, scale it. A scale zero, let's make it a bit darker, like that. And let's actually make them a little bit hollow. I for inset, E to extrude, scale them down. L, bring it down. Whew, this is stressful. Rotate, scale, shift D, rotate, scale down, shift D, rotate. Scale, Shift D, rotate, scale, and then let's make this top one brighter green. 
Sometimes they are, I think. It's the new part of the tree. Maybe that's too bright. Okay, and let's copy this one. Uh, use L to select these extra. Shift D. Uh, rotate Z a bit. Scale it down maybe. And Shift D again. Make another tree. How are we doing? Oh, three minutes to go. Scale that one down a bit. And let's select some random vertices here now. Make these slightly different. Proportional editing back on, and let's put the randomness on G, Z. Okay. I think that will have to do. Oh, but it's a speed camera now as well. Let's put it here. Shift right click. Here in the grass, shift A, cube, scale it down. Oh, proportional off. A, scale zero. Let's make it a bit black. Scale it down. Three, how am I doing from time? Two minutes. E to extrude. S to scale it down. E to extrude. E to extrude again. Scale. E to extrude. E to extrude, scale, okay. Shift right click, shift A, let's put a cylinder there again. It's already in good size, control to rotate this. The R, scale it down, A, scale down. Let's make it maybe white. So this is the flash. I've had this flash for me sometimes when I accidentally go too fast and then put the camera here, camera lens. Let's make this one brighter again. So let's uh, diorama. One minute to go. So let's show the car again. Shift space G. Rotate Z. Or yeah, it's gonna go away from the camera. It's already passed it from the other direction. Let's make this. Actually, let's. Put like some, make this some sort of a dirt color, maybe. This can still be some sort of a concrete. How am I doing? 33 seconds to go. Let's make a little wall here if I can make it. E to extrude it up. Control plus, make it a different color. Control B to bevel it slightly. And I don't want this green. Okay, nine seconds to go. I won't make it much more. So that's it. That's my little scene. Time is out. 10 minutes. Hmm. It's not quite why I <laughs> it's not quite why I envisioned in my mind before I got started. I thought I'd put some rocks there, maybe I'll put some individual stones here. Uh, I'll do some different type of trees, I was thinking, and I was going to make it a lot more pretty than this. <laughs> what did I spend my time on? I don't know. So this maybe wasn't the best work that I've done uh, compared to the other speed modeling videos. I was a lot more happy with them than I am with this one. But I guess you have to fail a little bit to, to improve. And if uh, I still feel that it's really worth it, if uh, if you keep speed modeling like this and push yourself and try to find uh, shortcuts and make it faster, you're gonna be uh, become a lot faster. And I, I guess uh, the main use of this is if you do game jams or something like that where time is really pressured, or if you just want to crank out some uh, little uh, prototypes and quick games, then this type of modeling is probably quite useful. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I uh, hope to see you next week where I'm gonna challenge myself for another 10 minute build. And uh, if you subscribe and hit the little bell notification, you might be able to catch a few other videos that I make. I do some Unity tutorials and uh, some uh, maybe sound effects recordings and also some vlog videos. So check those out and have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.